Josh Allen, Bills, Jalen Hurts, Eagles, who you got? Well, the way we're talking about the Eagles, guy, how, how could I pick any other team but the Eagles? <laughs> no, I think, honestly, when you look, it, to me, it comes down to the quarterback play and the, the completeness of the Eagles team. They are not playing their best football, but they find a way to gut out games. I, I, I like Jalen Hurts and the Eagles. Did the Bills show you anything with that last win? Yeah, yeah, the Bills are a good team. Again, yeah. for me, it's about the playoffs. They're a great team, but it's about the playoffs. All right, uh, Jeff, just one game separates the Ooh. Jags, the Texans, and that AFC you South. Who you, you got, got Jeff? This was tough for me. I'm, I'm going to go the Jags here. No, they got oh, the no. Texans, but I went the Jags. I'm not sure how that worked out. <laughs> that, but that was uh, – I, listen, I, I, I think – with Trevor Lawrence and where they are. They found ways to win. They got blitzed by, by San Francisco, but other than that, they played well over the last month and a half. I think I think the Texans are right there with them. I just think the Jags ultimately get going this weekend. Okay, uh, Browns and the Broncos will be putting their win streaks on the line. Hawk, who you got? You know what? I love the story that's brewing in, in Denver and Russell Wilson back on mm -hmm. path. Uh, Coach Sean Payton, but I'm going with the Cleveland Browns because the Cleveland Browns defense, yes, we know they're good. I think they're even better than advertised. They can win with Deshaun Watson. They can win with P.J. Walker. They can win with DTR, not throwing a pass beyond seven yards in the first three quarters. This defense is elite, and they're going to smother the Denver Broncos. Mm, do we believe in the Broncos they win this game? I don't. I, I'm going Browns as well. I think I'm with Hawk. I just think the defense for the Browns. I love exactly what he said. Where Sean Payton and Russell Wilson have gotten yeah. to, but but it's still a modified version of success in Denver. They still have a few more weeks. I, I I knew they would end up putting it together, but the first year it just takes time. I think the Browns defense it, it puts it on, especially up front. They're going to have tough matchups. I'm just glad as as a as a you know adopted daughter of the city of Cleveland. I'm just glad that people are finally paying attention. Uh, to the Browns defense. <laughs> I really am, because I don't know, because I sound I sounded crazy talking about the Browns defense for all these weeks, and now America's seeing it. I um, it. I, I, but credit to the Broncos defense, yeah. Yeah. because they are playing, yeah. I don't want to say lights out, but they're playing extremely well. I think they'll give DTR some fits. Yeah, I, I, I will say this, too. That's a great point. If, if they can force DTR to beat them, that's going to be the Browns. The Browns calling card the rest of the season is don't allow your quarterback to, 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 to hurt you. Right. That's how they're going to have to play it. And the Broncos have forced a ton of turnovers the last four weeks. So that's going to be the difference maker. for sure. All right. We'll see. Football now. Time for what are the chances? NFL upset, upset edition. So we are looking at the percentages here. Jeff. Packers will upset the line. What's the percent? Strong, strong. No, not strong. Ten <laughs> percent. I'm giving it a. I'm giving the puncher's chance to the Packers upset the line. Listen, I think the Lions got a wake up call against Chicago. They got down. They end up coming back. Jared Goff. I'd like to see how they build on the momentum of the comeback. By the way, that's huge for the for the Lions. Finding a way to win, even when you play poorly and Goff turns it over a ton. Let's see how they do against the line uh, against the Pack. Okay, Kmart. What about the Seahawks upsetting the 49ers? You know what, Brian? I didn't want to be rude like Jeffrey yes. because, you know, any given Sunday, right? So I'm going to say 40%. A, you've got two divisional opponents. Also, Lumen Field, difficult to play it, right? Um, but Geno Smith, not 100% healthy. He's getting treatment around the clock. And I don't know. I feel like people are still sleeping on the 49ers, so I think they'll win pretty handily. Okay, Swagoo, the Commanders upsetting the Cowboys. What percent? I'm going to take a page out of Kmart book and go 40% as well. These in-division opponents are always hard. Jeff can speak to that. It doesn't matter what the record is when you get to this point of the season. I know every dude across the line of scrimmage for me. Dallas should handle business, but they should try to handle business super early That's and right. give the commanders no hope that this game is going to go the way that they want it to go.